Hello, Kulas, and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates for FC Barcelona. We are going to begin with Erling Haaland, as recent reports are claiming that Super Agent Mino Raiola have set three non-negotiable conditions for FC Barcelona if they want to sign Haaland next summer. And what are those three conditions? We are going to be discussing much more about that as we progress. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Frankie de Jong, whose future at FC Barcelona is still very uncertain. You know, recent reports from this Spanish outlet sport have just revealed that top European clubs are interested in him. Of course, the report, you know, further listed the five top clubs in Europe that are interested in Frankie de Jong, which we are going to be discussing much more about that as we move ahead. So Colors, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona have for quite a while been searching for options to occupy the striking role. Barca lost Messi with Sergio Aguero, you know, two players who could have added more goals to our team as we know. Barca's main problem in their absence has been scoring, scoring, scoring. They don't score, but they seem to finally have found a solution to this issue. You know, according to reports, Barcelona won Erling Haaland, as we know, but that his agent, Mino Raiola, has a few requisites if his player is to make a switch from Dortmund to FC Barcelona. If all three conditions are met, according to this report, and of course, Barcelona have the money, then he will be a Barca player next season. The first requirement is that Erling Haaland needs to lead the project. Over the past decade, this was a privilege given to none other than Lionel Messi, as we know. As someone capable of taking Barcelona into the next decade or so, Raiola wants Haaland to be the you know, centerpiece of the team. Furthermore, he wants his player to be awarded the number 9 shirt. This is one currently owned by Memphis Depay and has had some illustrious names such as Luis Torres and Samuel Eto'o. Haaland already wears the number for the club and country and would want to etch his name into the club's history with a number as well. Finally, and perhaps most complicated, you know, he wants Champions League football. Ideally, this is something Barcelona could offer him any year but they have struggled so much as to make a top 4 spot this season. You know, Barcelona have an uphill task if they want to make it to Europe's most prestigious competition. So if Barcelona make all three conditions and of course if these conditions are met right, they stand a proper chance at acquiring Erling Haaland and getting ever close to being back to the top of European football. All of this, let's not forget, the money must be there because if we don't have the money, even if all these conditions are met, nothing will happen. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, there seems to be no place to hide from all the transfer talk when it comes to Frankie de Jong. All of a sudden, the Barcelona midfielder has been thrown into the mix of players that could leave the club in the coming windows. As per report from Sport, the Dutchman has five potential suitors which include some of the biggest clubs in the world from every league possible. Reports of them already approaching his representative have grabbed headlines in recent days. Reaffirming what Frankie de Jong's father stated in an interview about the top five European clubs asking about the midfielder, the Spanish outlet names the interested parties, which include Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, Chelsea, Manchester City and Manchester United. Barcelona's lack of cash, but the need for a player like De Jong to form the basis of a competitive sporting project, again, are going to be factors that pose a serious dilemma for coach Xavi Hernandez and the board. For the Dutchman, clearly, it would not be tough to find a new club and it would fetch a decent sum of money for FC Barcelona, but that does not necessarily mean that Barcelona lost patience in him. Why the 86 million euro signing has not quite replicated his form at Ajax with Barcelona, he has still shown on many occasions what he is capable of, you know. If this level of interest from the elites in Europe is to be believed, 
it clearly shows that the young is still a class player and just needs to be utilized better in Javi's project. Selling him while he is still marketable would be an important move financially, but on a sporting level, it could come as a far greater cost. So coolers, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so. So you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.